So we need to hit a fifth energy somewhere, somehow. We need to like draw it off Niao's Might or we need to... I've seen a few cards that generate energy. We need the blue and red key before we fight the heart. Double Regret's not ideal, but we can work with it. Let's get rid of that Regret. We have so much card draw, it's not even... It's pretty crazy. It's a little crazy how much card draw we have. Just a little. I do still want to play that anti-aging the second time through the fight. Well, our mana circulation is not getting played. We should get used to that. Wield draws cards with, uh... That's funny. Oh, we have a pain. That's not great. Okay. So... Playing this... There's our anti-aging. I will happily lose 1 max HP to gain 3 max HP. That is just stonks. And we're good. So we're scaling up our max HP, we're just killing this thing by passive damage. And passive strength scaling. Yeah, we don't need to click on the enemy. We don't need to click on the enemy. Though I guess we will, to save time. No, we won't, we don't have a block card. Ah. We have a block card, there we go. Obscuration, stretching, okay, so these are just comments we've seen before. I don't think I want rapid movement. I think we have a good mix of rights and curse generation. Getting a pain is not ideal. Alright, let's see if we can win this fight next turn. Unlikely. Got it. So we're taking a little bit of damage here. I think we still have our anti-aging in our deck. So we have Circle of Abyss, anti-aging. So we might take some damage this turn, but I think we'll be okay. Pain will get rid of the anti-aging when we... Or, or clean up Workshop will get rid of Pain when we draw it. Which lets anti-aging take out Regret. Which lets Cursed Wand deal damage to this. Which lets Cursed Relics deal damage to this. Grudge. Oh, we haven't seen Circle of Focus. Whenever you play a card that costs three or more, gain an energy. Seems very medium. Add a random right card to your hand, it costs zero this turn. I mean, that's good with our ink bottle, I guess. Corruption is whenever you play a skill, deal eight damage to an enemy. I don't think we need that either. I want ways to get energy, but I don't want 
my ways to get energy requiring me to pay five mana for a card. So. The writhes going into my deck instead of my hand are quite nice. Rather not bounce this off. Oh, I'll use my energy pot here. This is a good energy pot. Honestly, I could have saved that energy pot for a boss fight with mana circulation. I just realized that. Or an elite. That would have uh, really helped me combo off at some point in the near future. Oh well. The more you know. I'll take two. Replace. Replace. That's gonna deal me a lot of damage, isn't it? Ouch! We should be good for the rest of the fight, though. I think we're good. Our allied units deal a lot more damage than the enemy units. Although that's kind of the problem with, uh... Get rid of the regret. And I can do this once. Yep. And then they'll die when I draw curses. This is... The spikers are always such like a weird fight for so many decks. Vital Strike. If an enemy has bleed, double the damage. I think we're good. Alright, so first things first, remove the regret. We might be taking damage this turn. We might be taking a lot of it. This is, like, the best block potion I'm getting, I think. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good block potion. Okay, so we got our anti-aging. We got our MLM uh, cream, our, our vitamins, our Joe Rogan vitamins. Troublous Minions is so good. I, I presume that the, the unupgrade is just, like, four or five block or whatever, but, the, man, that card is so good. It's just two free curses, 14 free block, it's just... It's in a class of its own, really. We're gonna workshop. No! That's annoying. I didn't notice there was a normality in our deck. Combo go bye-bye. No more anti-aging. Well, this guy's gotta go. So does that guy. Draw three. There's the normality, so we should be good for the rest of the fight. There's the uh, nothing, we get nothing. I want to... I mean, I can sacrifice 7 health to do this. 
I'm comfortable with that. Then I can just draw curses and wait him out. Ouch. Burn! Man, why does this suck so much? That enemy dealt more damage to me than I would have liked. Uh, blood barrier. Game block equal to your max HP minus your current HP. Ooh, that's neat. I don't know if we need a right right now, but that's healing me for 30. I like this. I like that card a lot. All right, let's, let's visit this shop. Shuriken, Slug of Tr Lucky Charm. Whenever a curse is drawn or exhausted, gain three block. It's an interesting art choice. Right, remove all your debuffs. We do need block. How many powers do we have? This, I don't even know if this counts. Two, three, not too many powers. Okay, yeah, I think we can take one of those. That's a neat little card. Sling of Courage. Yes. All right. So, oh, there's a normality. I do need to pay attention to that. That does make the fight interesting in a way. Draw four. Wait, I thought... Oh, it's only if you exhaust a curse. I thought if you exhausted an unplayable, it counted. Not ideal, not ideal. Hey, an unplayable card. All right, we have started to scale. And I think I'm okay with drawing this on this turn. Here goes the normality. Whenever you play a right card, draw a card. I mean, I think I just need to avoid form as soon as possible. Ouch. One more turn. We are definitely normalizing this thing. And we are just trying to... Yep. So I think we should be good for this fight, even though we're getting attacked for a lot. We have all of our our cursing set up in advance. So I feel pretty comfortable playing aggressively like this. If we hit normality, that's okay. And if we don't, then we just we give this guy something to remember. Yeah, we uh it's a lot of damage. This is the best dex potion we're getting. I could have, I had leap though. Ah, no, no, no. no. Mm. I had lethal! It's fine, it's fine. This just makes our blood barrier deal more damage, right? Right? Set up ink bottle. Please. 
Thank you. Oh my, I, no, I, I auto clicked on that and I don't know if I should have. Yeah, so this card is absurd. I want more of these. I can gain 333 gold or jump inside of the heal full HP. I will happily take the full HP. There's no shop coming for any near time soon. Hello, Nemesis. Man, it's sad that I still can't play this. I have yet to cast this card. This was a mistake. It's such a cool card, but costing five is so much. So watch. All right. All right. We are gaming now. We are definitely gaming. Very good turn one. Okay. This is a bit of a scary turn. Are we good? I think we're good. We're good, okay. Nemesis is always a fight that can just leave you dead without you realizing it. He's just like that sometimes. I mean, at least we're only taking zero. Nice. Meat on the bone. I don't think we need that. Torture, apply five bleed. The uh, the artistic liberties with the art style here are interesting to say the least. Take the key, not gonna forget the key. And you know what? I'm not gonna forget the third key either, just in case. We have all three keys, we're ready to face the heart. We are ready to face the heart. Oh, this card suddenly gains zero HP, but I, I think it'll be I think it'll pay off soon in the end. Let's check on our boot damage. It is dealt. An average of two damage, 2.3 damage per combat. Y'all sleeping on the boot. Just saying. So I don't have any normalities in my deck, right? Nope, just regrets and rides and stuff. Okay, we're good. We got, we got the all clear. Tropic Brew, that is Abyss Shockwave, what is this? Deal 13 damage to all enemies, if you have any curses in your hand, deal the same damage again. I don't think we need that. It reads as an early game card to me. We are not in the early game. How does this not even make this cost four? Good lord. 
I mean, this is just feel no pain, right? And feel no pain is uh, quite good. Yeah, let's upgrade our feel no pain. Or our echo form that happens to be holding the Omomori. I mean, this is free money because we have the Omomori. It's not that I want the Omomori, but it, it exists, so I have it. Oh, hello. I still can't play you! Worthless. That card has just been a cur Curses are better in this deck than that card. That is how ridiculous that is. Void form has been very good to us so far. Yeah, uh, yeah, we can save this one just in case. And you only need to survive three more turns of this. We, we're good. We're good. The card draw this character has is uh, very, very high. That's a normality. So. If I play Ashes to Ashes, I'm guaranteed to draw Normality. If I play Meow's Might, I might draw Normality, but I still might not. Nice. So now we can Anti-Aging Away Regret, gain more block, and then we can Ashes to Ashes the other Regret, draw the Normality out, and pass with full block. And now we are in the silly click buttons part of the run. Where we use one card to deal 90 damage and... Cool. Yeah, somehow I think we're fine. Uh, we could just end for Ink Bottle. Released knowledge, so it turns a, a curse into a circle. Okay. We get one more upgrade. I mean, Circle of Abyss is probably our best, but Nyaos might let us go off really quick, though. I'll just get the Circle of Abyss. We're against Donu and Deca. We're going to need block consistently on every turn of the game. This gives us more block. I am already feeling good about my choice. Okay, so Cursed Blade is just a quick curse giver, which means that released strength has something to feed off of, which means that this will deal it damage, this will exhaust this, this will draw one card, this will also draw one card, and we can pass without taking damage. I don't think Pellets has done anything much. I mean, we, we haven't seen any, like, self-vulnerable effects. It's it's very situational, because we need... It's, it's, it's not like Orange Pellets, where you can plan for it consistently, it seems like. I don't know. So I do expect to take damage. Hmm. So there's our Feel No Pain. Workshop. Still no normalities. Normality and pain are the only two real, like, big curses that we don't want to have. Everything else is just gravy. Everything else just fuels us. I, mm. What is this card? 
I'm gonna bring it up every time I see it. I guess now, if we happen to draw our single copy of, uh, what is it, the good the good circle, Circle of Abyss, then we can remove our weak, and the card will have done its job. Oh, we did it! We did the thing. Move Regret. Curse Boomerang. We removed our weak. Unfortunately, we're taking two damage. It's okay. We are removing our doubt. We're not doubters. There's no doubters in the chat, right? You guys wouldn't be doubters. You believe in me, just like I believe in you. Man, 44 strength is a, a high number of strength. Let me tell you. That's free. That's so many, so many curses, much block, many, many block. So this draws four cards. Nice. This does 84 damage, I guess. That's what's happening. All right. I mean, this is only Ascension Zero, but it still... It still feels good to win on your first attempt. What mods do I have enabled right now? I have... Uh, this, this specific character is called The Cursed. And then I have... Optimize the Spire, and then there, there, are, some, there are other mods that you basically have to use. Uh, we get one more upgrade before Act 4. I think it's just this cost reduction. Just play Hellfire Breathing early. We have a lot of money for this shop. What is, ooh, Bloody Harpoon. When you apply a bleed, apply additional bleed. Never mind, we have nothing to do with this card. Uh, deal 12 damage three times. Shuffle two random curses in your draw pile. Spread Plague. Yeah, there's a lot of bleed stuff that we just don't need because we're not a, a bleed deck. Happy Flower. Always gonna take Happy Flower. Smoke Bomb is a... Pointless, basically. Card remove. Is there anything we don't need? Is there anything that just bloats our deck? Lucky Charm. Yeah, Lucky Charm is just like feel no pain. I, I learned that real quick. Yeah, Lucky Charm is, uh, I mean, we're just probably going to buy another one here. It's just it's just feel no pain. Yeah, because we need to draw it too, or exhaust. Yeah, it's, it's, I've, I've been very disappointed by this card. Like, I picked this expecting to maybe find one or two other energy synergies to allow me to actually cast this, but I just have gotten nothing. It looks like it, it would just allow you to go off and win the game instantly if it resolves. It's it's like an echo form, right? But it costing five is just... I, it. This has been a curse that has been worse for my deck because it's not technically a curse. Troublous Minions has been busted. Ashes to Ashes has been nuts. Neow's Might was my first boss rare. Wields have been... These are just better compile drivers. I, I think I've honed in on this, the strong stuff pretty early. I don't... I, I guess I can remove Cursed Blade or Cursed Wand, because they're just basic strikes. I mean, this gives me block. This one doesn't. I'll buy a weak potion, I guess. Yeah, that feels like a good shop. Alright, oh my god, we can play it! We can play the dumb card! Oh, ancient tea set. Oh, happy day. We're just gonna take a little bit of damage this turn, but still. Uh, play mana circulation. So now we get an energy when we remove these. Oh, 
Oh, uh, that's that's a little sad. But uh, yeah, we'll take some damage here. But overall, I mean, getting that card in play is uh quite good. Except when you have no ways to exhaust your curses. This seems not great. I guess Blood Barrier will give us some more health. Spire Elite can be harder than the heart. Turn two is real rough. Especially on higher ascension when you play on A20. That turn two attack where two of your cards are burns and you're facing down like 80 damage. Yeah, it's it's not it's not great. Sometimes they just root sometimes you just lose the run on turn two to this fight. It never feels amazing. So we're just gonna we're pro I'm gonna guess we might win the fight this turn. We could very well just win the fight, because we have our setup and we have all this card draw. I could foresee us winning the fight this turn. Especially if we draw Void Form right immediately this second. Oh no, there's a normality in our deck. Never mind. We can't win this fight. We can't win this turn. We, we just need to make sure that we don't draw normality. We didn't draw normality. Still didn't draw normality. Turn to face that one. We might draw normality here. It won't be great if we do. I mean, we're, we're blocking for full. We're fine. Okay, so. Have to end the turn there, but. Yeah, we're, we're still fine. I looked down and I saw the number 60 next to our block and I was much less worried. Yeah, even with the normality in, in our deck, we're just, uh... I would like to combo off and just do all the crazy things, but it looks like we have to take it a little slower. Uh, oh, I, I do have a curse. Good. I was almost worried I didn't have a curse in my hand. All right. Blood Vial, just in time. Another mana circulation. You never know. I don't think we're going to be lucky enough to play that one this time, though. We could we could Entropic Brew into an Energy Pot. I had an Energy Pot earlier this run, and I used it in, like, a random elite fight. And I realized the second I clicked it that I should have saved it for the heart fight for this mana circulation. I think our potions are good here. The other one. What do you mean the other one? Oh yeah, liquid memories. I didn't. Oh, it's a it's a ethereal too. So like you can't even if you don't play it, it's just gonna go away. The upgrade makes it so it's not ethereal, but yeah, like if you if you decline to play it on the turn you draw, it's just gonna go away. Okay, so what are we doing here first? Probably lucky charming. We can take some beat of death hits. And then try to hit more curses. Hit more curses. So now this gets really silly. So we'll start scaling our strength. You can cycle this. I actually kind of want to pass and save these for later. Yeah, like, the weak pot always only gets two out of thirds value. Like, there's there's never a way to guarantee 100% value from the weak pot against the heart. Same with, uh... Yeah. I guess I can just get the plated armor now and save the other one. Just for mana efficacy. Sure. I don't want to draw too many cards and have my deck be small for when he uh, adds these statuses. 
Pain is a little annoying, so we, we do want to get rid of that soon. Yeah, we can weak pot here. We can vault pot here. We can drink the entropic. None of these are great. Dex pot. Yeah, none of these are amazing. This draws us four, we have seven. I guess bleed technically does 12. Sure. I guess adding one more week is worth a health point. And dealing 12 damage to bleed. Regret hurts. Yeah, I didn't see like any bleed cards until the end, so I never really uh, took advantage of that synergy pile. We're definitely playing this here, right? I mean... Next turn, we're, our next turn is not great, but he's also not hitting us next turn, so that's fine. So we draw three here. Take the pain. Take the five. And this turn is garbage, but it doesn't matter. And we can actually play Mana Circulation, because this is a Happy Flower turn! Happy Flower! Woo! We did it! And then we throw the Fire Pot, because this turn's... Uh, we, can, we might as well take advantage of the Invincible there. All planned. So we don't have a normality, right? We just have a pain? Yeah, okay, we don't have a normality. And we need to block for 36. So Wheel is gonna draw us a ton. We get rid of Regret. Cursed Boomerang for 71. Then we Wheel to refill. Clean up the pain. I mean, if we had calipers, that'd be really funny, but we don't have calipers. Uh, Cursed Relics does 67. And then we just play this for funsies. Cute. Okay, so we have 32 strength now. We can weaken him again. We can remove both of his artifacts. Draw the card from Ink Bottle. Get our free 10 block. Ashes the dregs. Yeah, I mean we're in the clear now. I I know we're I know we're going to win the the fight, but I'm just still trying to sequence correctly. Spell book. Gain max HP for style points. Draw a card. Clean it up again. Draw three. Draw five. I feel like we had a very good ratio of dregs to rights in this deck. I never felt like I was missing too many of one or the other. Granted, this is my first time playing this character, but... Bonk! Discard. I mean, I'm sure there- I'm sure there are runs where that happens. Oh, this character- this one actually has like a... A little scene. That's neat. 
You just like crumble the you just like crumble the dust of the heart. It's like uh what's his name? Chisekai from My Hero. You just like touch it and it turns to dust. Cuz I played the Hierophant mod and that that character didn't have an animation. It used the Ironclad's animation for the Heart Slayer.